I'm Nancy Drew. This is my center of operations, my de This anagram from the Clues Challenge says I should go check out the thermostat at the Old Town Hall. <gasps> Who's there? It's jammed shut. Come on, open up. Is that an ice cube? What's happening? Oh no, I've got to get out of here. Time to get out of here! I need to get out of here fast! <coughs> Nancy Drew, what made you decide to burn down the old town hall? I didn't! Did you work alone? Who helped you? What do you mean work alone? I didn't do anything! Was this politically motivated? Of course not! I would never- Back off! No press until we take statements. Please state your name for the record. Nancy Drew. Where were you when the fire broke out? I was locked in the room where the fire started. What were you doing there? Someone sent me a note telling me to come here. Was there anything strange about the way the fire was burning? It started really quickly. What was the color of the smoke? I I'm not sure. Did you notice anything else out of the ordinary? It sounded like there was someone else in the building. Did you see anyone else at the scene before emergency crews arrived? Deirdre Shannon, Alexei Markovic, Tony Scolari, and Brenda Carlton. Do you believe someone intentionally started the fire? If so, who? It must have been one of the people at the scene of the fire. There you have it, a former hero and city icon rendered speechless. And speechless is the word of the day as onlookers struggle to come to terms with the brazen destruction of the beloved town hall by none other than the girl detective they had once trusted their lives and livelihoods to. Truly a sad day for River Heights. With Heights 9 News, I'm Brenda Carlton. Back to you, Jim. I still can't believe that happened. You could have been really hurt. I know. It's lucky that no one else was there. Did you even see what started the fire? Yeah, it was really strange. There was this snowflake-shaped ice cube on the thermostat. Oh, hang on. There's someone at the door. <coughs> Chief McGinnis? There's... My hands are tied here, Nancy. What are you talking about? Nancy Drew, you're under arrest for arson in connection with the town hall fire. I had nothing to do with that. You have the right to remain silent. Nancy, Anything you say or do can and will be held against you in the court of law. Nancy. You have the right to speak to an attorney. Make a call. You've reached the personal line of Carson Drew. Please direct all business matters to the firm switchboard. 
Hi, it's Nancy. I'm in jail. I really could use your help right about now. Please call me as soon as you can. Wait, I don't know if I can even get phone calls in here. I guess I'll keep trying you. When you get this message, don't freak out, okay? You don't need to book the next flight home. At least, not yet. I got a note telling me to go to town hall, and when I got there, it just burst into flames. They think I did it. I think this might be one of those situations where I can admit that I might need a little help. I guess I better get going now. I'll try you again soon. I should call my friends. You've reached the River Heights 911 switchboard. All lines are currently busy. Hello. George, it's Nancy. Nancy, what's going on? How are you? All right, for now, I'm not going to be able to get out of here until I can prove that I'm not the one who set the fire. We'll do anything you need to help get you out. Oh, you're the best, George. Remember that wiki we were using for the clues challenge? You mean the amazing program that I coded and uploaded onto our phones? Is that the one you're talking about? That's the one. Let's all use that to keep in touch. All case information and big clues should show up there. Good idea. There's something I need right away. Just name it. The reason I went to the town hall was because I was led there by a note. I need you guys to find that note and drop it off at the station for me. I think it might have fallen out of my pocket when I escaped the fire. Consider it done. See you later. Goodbye. <laughs>